I quit my job. Yeah, so I wanted to cover a few things. I wanted to talk about a few things that are going to be happening with my channel. Um, a lot of people are coming back to my channel. Uh, they realize that I'm actually still around. And that YouTube's algorithm just destroyed me, <laughs> along with a lot of other channels. I wanted to talk about a few things in this video. Uh, most importantly, the things that I'm going to be doing with the channel. But I also want to talk about my job and why I decided to leave it. And maybe this will speak to someone who's in the same type of situation I'm in. Before we get into the job, I want to just give an update about what's happening with the channel and what I'm going to be doing. Um, currently, I stream Monday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I always put it out on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter at user protomario, and I always put it out on YouTube, but we all know how YouTube's notification system works. And if you actually get to see the community posts, much less the videos, that's a shot in the dark. But that's something else I'm doing. I'm also going to be uh, putting a lot more effort into my videos. I've bought some new equipment. That's why my mic is sounding better. I wouldn't say it's a uh, it's voice actor quality, but it is much, much better. I've done some tweaking. I've been doing some retooling. I am trying some new things. That's why this video is going to be in black and white. Because I think it's a somber video. Even though I'm doing some channel updates here, I'm talking about what I'm going to be doing in the future. I do think it's still a bit bittersweet that I had to leave the job the way I had to leave it. Now, I'm almost there. I'm almost going to uh, be to explaining the job thing. But one other thing people have presented to me. They said, uh, Proto, how are you going to make it if you quit your job? Your views on YouTube are terrible. Your views on which are very, very low to, um, you're, you're a nobody. How are you supposed to make it on a nobody salary? Right now with all my online activities, I make about $800 a month. Uh, Jen makes around 1500. Really all I would need to do is kind of double that. Maybe if I made about 1500 a month online and, and Jen continued to make 1500, That'd be plenty. I can live off three grand a month. My bills currently are down to two grand because I've been paying down things like credit cards, cars, um, any type of loans I've had. So really, all I have over my head is a crippling student loan. You know what? That's fine. We've, we've been just lowering our payments. This is the long haul now, man. I'm uh, looking to pay all this stuff off within 20 years. And maybe when I'm uh, 56, 57, I can kick up my feet and say, yeah, I made it. Why would I quit a job where I'm making 15 and some change, so I would end up with a check that would be about 1500 every two weeks? So I was making about three grand there. Uh, why would I do that? Why would I give up uh, such a decent position, right? And I knew exactly what I was in for. But I was working on my degree, so I was like, okay, this is fine. I'll do what I have to do until I get promoted into a counselor position. See, I was a residential uh, floor worker for a drug rehabilitation place, and I'm going to keep, keep it completely anonymous, even though they did, did me pretty dirty, and they did a lot of people dirty. The first month was rough, the first night was rough. Uh, the first month, my supervisor and another person ended up being fired, and then over the course of six months, I, I was worked a lot, had worked a lot of overtime. Uh, they moved my supervisor, one of the better supervisors, I believe, up to a different floor, not a floor that I worked on, and they replaced him with somebody who really didn't care that much. Uh, my other boss was an absent-minded guy who was moved to a different floor and replaced with a woman who felt like she knew everything under the sun. And my other boss, which was a male, he would show up in the mornings and disappear when the afternoon shift came around. Now, I understand you show up to work at about 9 o'clock, you're ready to cut out around 5 o'clock. But at the end of the day, if one of the shifts is 8 hours and the other is 8 hours, then when 5 o'clock comes and you're only there for 2 hours and you have a lot of clients who are having a lot of issues and you just want to disappear, then you can't really be mad at how those issues are handled if you're not around to help, right? They were. They would always be mad. They would always be like, oh my god, you guys aren't doing a good enough job. The floor is awful. The breaking point for me, really, this is was the breaking point. 
I was on vacation for like six days, right? So I wasn't even there. I was not there. I had been bringing in some PlayStation portables that I had modded and hacked, and uh, I let the kids play some games uh, on their downtime. I wouldn't just hand it to them and say, here, you can keep this for the day. But like, you know, those things lasted about three to four hours. And so if they had some time off and they weren't doing any clinical work and we weren't at rec or anything, or they weren't in group, I would just let them play some PSPs. Um, they normally listened to me, they respected me, they had no issues with me. I come back in and they're like, hey, you gotta stop giving these kids PSPs, man, that's gonna be a problem. And I'm like, or, all right, whatever you want, you don't want them to have video games? I, I, then they start talking about how terrible the floor is that they've had kids running away from there. And, and sometimes kids were court ordered to be there to get clean, to get clean, quote unquote. Uh, but when they were court ordered there, they didn't want to be there. So obviously they're going to run away. And um, the same with like child care agencies placing them there for residency. This is the same work that ended up giving me COVID-19 because they wanted to continue to take admissions uh, despite there being a clear and loud warning that this virus was going around. This is the same place that got me sick, which in turn got Jen sick and put Jen in the hospital for 11 days straight. The same place that was trying to call me back after 10 days when I explained to them that I was still around a woman who was highly contagious with COVID-19 and them saying, well, we're following CDC guidelines, so you can go ahead and come on back that place. I worked with an employee, a female. Uh, she would always cut out early. She would always try to get off the floor instead of helping clients. And she would try to extend her notes, paperwork, whatever she had to do for, I want to say like three hours at a time. She would take naps on the job. Uh, she would disappear for 30 to 40 minutes claiming she was using the bathroom. And then she would take pills and pull, pills would fall onto the ground and stuff like that. And she'd pick them up real fast. But she worked there for two years. Two freaking years. Longer than me. I worked there over a year and a half, almost two years. But she was there before me. So, yeah. When I say I was almost there for two years, she was there longer. And they never fired her until... I decided to quit. If you just did the minimum, that's all I could ask of you. But she wouldn't even do that, man. It was pathetic. So she was a big contributing factor. So when I go back in and I'm talking to them and I'm saying, yeah, I might be able to stay on for weekends, maybe. But, uh, you know, this is going to be my last day. They politely inform me that that employee had been terminated also. And uh, they, they wanted to try and keep it a secret. Like, oh, she's been put on leave. So shh, she's been put on leave. And I'm like sitting here thinking like, what, what are you guys, five years old? Who fucking cares if this woman was fired? Who cares, right? So I went over to Glassdoor and I, I wanted to look at some reviews that people had left. And like, they are overwhelmingly negative for this place. I'm not the only one who sees this. Some of the reviews were talking about a third floor supervisor uh, discussing who she had sex with, with clients. Uh, other ones were discussing uh, other supervisors who were very inappropriate, very physical. Uh, I talked to one of my friends there. She said a supervisor had hit her up on the phone and asked her if he could have sex with her. Uh, another person, a team lead, had tried to hit her up and tried to have sex with her also. And uh, I, I, I like, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, how can you be so terrible at your job and sexually inappropriate at the same time and still have a job? I worked for a bad organization for two years and I'm out. And it changed me into a very, very negative person. I would snap. Uh, I, I was stressed. I had a very stressful life. But I'm going to continue to improve my stuff. I'm going to sell some of the extra commodities I've received. And I'm going to continue to do deals. I had somebody send me uh, this as a promotional deal. Uh, when I got it, it continuously froze and made a loud ear piercing noise, which was terrible. So given uh, an easy SMX controller to promote. Oh, I'm in the midst of talking to the guy to possibly give you guys some of these bad boys right here. I hope you guys understand why I had to quit my job. Uh, I am coming back to YouTube more than part time. So I'd say I want to try to put out three videos a week. 
really work hard on uh, two of them. And then maybe one of them will be like a stream recap or something. And really put a lot of effort into them, explore some things, use some uh, different artistic methods to just make content that you guys would like to watch. I wish you guys the best. And if you're in a situation or were in a situation where I was, where maybe it's not that physically taxing, maybe it's not the worst job you've ever had, but it pays good and you get vacation or you get some crazy nice benefit out of it. Yeah, but it turns you into a monster. Quit the fucking job, man. You'll find another one. There's always another job. When you want to talk about the people who work for you and their failures, you cannot not address the fact that you are a terrible leader because the person being led is only as good as their leader. Now, I've been your host, Prino Mar, and I'm signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this update, and I will see you in many more videos, I hope. As always, good gaming, God bless, and thanks for watching.